happens next. He joins us live in the newsroom tonight. Stu. Hi, George. Well, of course, Norm McAllister has been suspended uh, since January. Senators deciding they could not allow an accused rapist to sit in the chamber until and unless McAllister is acquitted of the charges against him. McAllister, you'll recall, walked out and told reporters he's not guilty of sexual assault charges that involve three different women, including his teenaged state house intern. But now, with his criminal trial delayed until summer, McAllister had asked the Rules Committee to reconsider his suspension, let him serve out this session. Well, today, the committee said no. The general take is that there was really nothing, no major change of circumstance that was going to have us reconsider whether uh, to uh, reinstate uh, Senator McAllister. It's clear and simple. The Rules Committee did approve new requirements that all Senate interns, paid or not, register with the Sergeant at Arms Office. And they updated the Senate policy prohibiting all forms of sexual harassment. Two things Campbell said were driven by the McAllister scandal. This afternoon, McAllister told WPTZ he thinks his colleagues have, quote, broken the law and stomped all over the Constitution in depriving the people of Franklin County their vote in the Senate this year, but he said he doesn't have the money to fight it. It's ironic, he said, that one of the top offices in our state gets away with breaking the Constitution. We all took our oath to uphold the Constitution and do no harm to the people therein. And they did. Well, tonight, Senator Campbell responded by saying that Sometimes when people get into trouble, they point fingers in every direction but their own.